How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over some Red Eyes support that's going to be coming out in Clash of Rebellions, which is going to totally restructure the Red Eyes deck, and I think it even has the potential to go tier. There's a lot of powerful effects, it's very combo oriented, it can swarm, and then it has this secret weapon, which is the burn damage, um, which is best exemplified in the new Red Eyes, the Red Eyes Blackfire Dragon, which is, it has the effect that at the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack. And that burn damage right there, because this deck, it has a lot of powerful monsters, it, it's very combo oriented, and you can special summon like crazy in this deck. So on top of being able to push with all that aggro, being able to put in that much burn damage I think has a lot of potential in the game right now, because on top of everything you're already able to do, you can just burn your opponent's life points, which is going to be especially effective against decks like Cleforts, where they have to pay a bunch of life points to set up their plays. At that point, if you pushed against them, and they've only got just like a little bit of life points left, all you have to do is get this thing on the board and then just declare an attack with it. Make sure you don't like suicide to the point where you can lose and you can just game them. So I think it's going to be very powerful. A uh, secret weapon you could say that this deck will have is the amount of burn damage it can inflict on top of everything else that it can already do. Then we've got the Red Eyes Lightning Lord Evil Archfiend. It's basically a reskinned summon skull. And um, the important thing to note too about these is that they are now Gemini monsters, so they count as normal monsters when they're anywhere except the field, and then you do have to s normal summon them once again um, after they're summoned, but it's very important that they're treated as normal monsters while they're in the graveyard in the hand or the deck, because that will set up a lot of combos in the deck, because a lot of these cards say you can only go for normal monsters. But this guy, he, he has an effect, it's kind of cool. Um, it's once per turn, you destroy all face of monsters your opponent controls with defense lower than the card's attack. So what that means is you can basically just get this on the board and then use it to board wipe your opponent, then just swarm and attack for game. So that's a pretty cool card. And then we got the Blackstone of Legend. It's the first card I think that is, um, it's a good demonstration of how combo oriented this deck can be. Its effect is you tribute this card to special summon a level, a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck, except Red Eyes Be Chick. And I don't know why, like a lot of these cards, they exclude Red Eyes Be Chick, and I don't know why. Konami is hating on Red Eyes Be Chick right now, and I don't know why that is. Um, if anyone knows why Red Eyes Be Chick is excluded from a bunch of these cards, hey, let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to know myself. But, uh, like I said, a bunch of these cards, they're just hating on Red Eyes Be Chick for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. So, you summon a Red Eyes monster from your deck, and then when this, when the Blackstone and the Red Eyes and a Red Eyes monster are in your graveyard, you return the Red Eyes monster to your deck to add this back to your hand, which creates kind of an infinite loop, because then you could just normal summon this, get it back out of the deck, and then when they both go to the graveyard, um, this returns to your hand, then puts the uh, Red Eyes monster back in your deck, and then you're able to just continue that loop over and over and over again, where you summon the stone, tribute, and then once they're both in the grave, put this back, put the stone back in your hand, and then put the Red Eyes monster back in your deck, wash, rinse, repeat. So it does kind of open up that kind of like infinite combo state right there. Then we've got a Black Metal Dragon. Now this card isn't as important, I think. Um, you basically just equip it to a Red Eyes monster you control, and it gains 600 attack. Um, that's really going to only be important for pushing over monsters that you wouldn't otherwise be able to deal with, the most obvious example being towers in the Cleforts. But then it does have the nice effect that um, when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to add any Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand, not just monsters, so that includes the Spells of Traps as well, so it's a nice searcher. But yeah, being able to put on that extra attack to punch over something and then get that search off if it's ever... And it's, it's when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, so even if they destroy the monster it's equipped to, you're still going to get that search, which does make it, I think, a slightly more viable option in the deck. And then we've got, this isn't, uh, it's not a Red Eyes card, but it is a Black Dragon, and it basically fits right into the deck. We'll go over its effect in full, uh, just so you can see how well it works for the deck. So it can be treated as two tributes for the Tribute Summon of a Dragon type monster, there's your Red Eyes right there. And then while this card is in your hand or graveyard, if a face-up dragon type monster on the field is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being destroyed by battle, except itself, you can special summon this card. Then if that monster in the graveyard is a dragon type normal monster, which they all are now because they're Geminis, you can add one dragon type normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. So he opens up a bunch of recycle plays, and you can go into a lot of combos off this card, especially with this next card, because when he adds that stuff back to your hand, you can go ahead and use this, which is basically the Red Eyes version of Trade-In. You send one level 7 Red Eyes monster from your hand to the graveyard, then draw two cards, then you can send a level 7 Red Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. So you get that draw power and deck thinning and then setting up combos. You can only use once per turn, but if you could use any more of these per turn, I think that would be incredibly broken. That's a very, very powerful effect to be able to get that draw power and set up your combos. Then we got Return of Red Eyes. I think this card is kind of crazy because it's like Call of the Haunted, but when it gets destroyed, you get to special summon more. 
It's if you control a red eyes monster, except red eyes be chick. Again, hate non red eyes be chick. No idea why, but they're doing it. You can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target a red eyes monster in your graveyard, except red eyes be chick, and special summon it. Um, the only downside to this card is you can only use each effect of return of red eyes once per turn. So how you're going to want to use it is you're going to want to activate it so that you can get that first special summon, and then you want the turn to pass to your opponent so you can ensure that you're going to get your second special summon off. But that card is kind of crazy because it's like Call of the Hunters. It's like Cool, when I get destroyed, I just get to go ahead and special summon even more. Then we've got the Red Eyes Fusion. The most powerful aspect of this card is right here, that you can su you can use fusion materials for that summon from your from your hand, deck, or your side of the field. The most important one being the deck, because then you get your Red Eyes monsters in the graveyard, and then you can set up some pretty obvious combos there. And their fusion monster is actually uh, very powerful. Which is why I think that they have this limitation. You can only activate one Red Eyes Fusion per turn, and then you cannot summon any other stuff during the turn you activate this card. Not like you'd need to, though, because their new Fusion Monster is very powerful. It's basically a new Black Skull Dragon. And it's got the effect, it needs a level 6 Archfiend Normal Monster, which, because um, because the Summon Skull is reskinned, it's now a viable target in the deck. And then you need a Red Eyes Normal Monster, which is not hard to do at all. And then if this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Sitting on top of 3200 attack, that's not bad at all. That it's basically um, on Armadis on top of being Black Skull Dragon. And then at the end of the battle phase, if this fusion summoned card attacked or was attacked, you can target a Red Eyes normal monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's original attack, and then shuffle that target back into the deck. So not only does that open up more combo plays potentially by shuffling the Red Eyes back into your deck, but then again, that burn damage, I think that's going to be a very, very powerful secret weapon that this deck will have on top of being able to push with big monsters and set up combos and special summon like crazy, is you're going to be able to inflict a ton of burn damage to your opponent on top of that. And then we have the newly announced, uh, it's a Red Eyes, it's the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. It's a generic level 7 or rank 7 Xyz, which I think will make Dragon Rulers players very, very happy because not only is there a new generic level 7 out there, but it's also a dragon, so that can combo very well with them. Although I do have to mention really quickly, um, the OCG ban list came out uh, just a few hours ago, and in the OCG they actually did ban all the adult dragon rulers. They brought the baby dragon rulers back, but there's really no point to that after you've banned the um, after you've banned the uh, adult dragon rulers. And I feel like a big reason why is because we're getting the Dark Matter Dragon, and then on top of this, like this is going to be the new rank seven spam dragon deck. Um, on top of that, and if you have the Dragon Rulers in this deck as well, this deck would just be crazy to the point where it'd almost be beyond control. So anyway, that's just a side note, let's go right into this guy's effect. So it's, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects while it has Xyz material. Each time your opponent activates a card or effect, any effect at all, while this card has Xyz material, you inflict 500 damage to your opponent when that card or effect resolves. So that's pretty good, um, still sitting on top of that burn damage. Like I said, that burn damage I think is going to be a very, very powerful aspect of this deck in combination with the other aspects that this deck has. And then once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach an Xyz material from this card, then target a Red Eyes normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it, um, which is also very important for setting up your combos. And then the amount of special summoning you're able to do is also very important because the new Red Eyes and the new Summon Skull are Geminis, so you do have to get that second summon off. So that's going to be a very, very powerful card in the deck, and a very powerful card in general, because it is generic, it just takes two level 7s. Then another card I wanted to mention, um, we did actually get Odd Eyes Rebellion's Dragon's um, actual card effect, not its anime. We got like the confirmed effect, which I wanted to go over with you guys uh, really quickly. The Pendulum effect is basically the same once per turn. If you do not have a card in your other Pendulum Zone, you choose one Pendulum Monster from your deck and place it in that Pendulum Zone. That's going to be a very powerful effect for any Pendulum deck. Being able to search your deck and then just throw out any Pendulum Monster you want into the scale that's going to be a very, very powerful effect, but then it's monster effect. It takes two level 7 dragon type monsters, which fits into this deck just fine. And then it says, if if you can pendulum summon level 7 monsters, you can pendulum summon this face-up card from your extra deck. If this card is Xyz summoned by using Xyz monster as any of its materials, this card can make up to three attacks during each battle phase this turn. Also destroy as many, as many level 7 or lower monsters your opponent controls as possible, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each monster destroyed by this effect. So it is kind of watered down. Um, for anyone who missed it or didn't know, its anime effect was that you destroyed all those monsters and then they took damage equal to the combined attack of those destroyed monsters, and then for each one you destroyed, it could make an attack. But this is, even though it's kind of watered down, 
it's still very, very powerful because sitting at 3,000 attack, three attacks, that's 9,000 damage, that's game right there. Plus that extra burn damage that you can do just by destroying them, which again isn't that uh, secret aspect of this deck that's going to be very powerful, is that burn damage. Uh, it's a very, very viable option in this deck. And then if it's in the monster, basically when it's a monster and it gets destroyed, that's how it moves up to the pendulum zone. So that is an option for the deck, but the only way you're going to really be able to play it at the moment is there is the Destruction Magician. Uh, we're only going to be talking about their Pendulum effects right now, because that's all we're concerned with. It's once per turn, you can target an Xyz monster you control. This turn, if it is used for an Xyz summon, you can treat it as a monster with the same level as its rank. So it basically turns the ranks on Xyz monsters into levels, which is important, because it only gets its OTK effect if it's summoned by using an Xyz monster as any of its materials. And what's good about that is, because it takes the two level 7 dragons, we have a rank 7 dragon which can be modified using the destruction and the creation magicians into a level 7 dragon to be able to go into that. Um, I don't think the pendulum build will be a very viable option at the moment though because to set up this pendulum scale these are spellcaster monsters and a bunch of the effects in this deck require like red eyes or dragon monsters so I don't think the pendulum build is going to be very viable. If anyone figures out a build um, leave the idea in the comment section below. I would love to be able to see that. But that is just like a potential option that you have for the deck it to is to be able to go into this because it, it is right at home in this deck. Um, but my thoughts on the deck, I think it has the potential to be very, very strong. Just the combo oriented um, plays that you can have, the aggressiveness of the deck, and then that burn damage. I think that burn damage is, is going to be absolutely key. Just all those factors rolled into one. I think make this deck a very, very powerful option. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I personally think that this deck has a lot of potential. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.